Greetings and salutations, everybody. I'm Pat, and um, I'm, uh, I'm going to do a review here on something that I think is pretty darn awesome, which is this Zoom G5N multi effects processor. A little background on me I'm like a thrash metal, death metal kind of guitar player who found Jesus Christ and started jamming with the worship band at my church. And so now my two musics that I mainly play on guitar are either like, you know, thrash metal kind of stuff or worship stuff. Before, when I played mostly metal, uh, the only thing I ever really needed was a nice amp, like maybe this Fender Ultimate Chorus 212, or I don't know if you can see it back there, I got a Mesa Boogie 4x12 that sounds pretty awesome. And pretty much distortion and clean were my two things. Clean was almost never used, except for maybe for like an effect or something, and then it was almost always distortion. So when I joined the church, I tried to do that too, and uh, yeah, I mean, I pulled it off, but not really. Um, and I eventually uh, decided, okay, I need to start researching and getting some kind of an effects thingy. And this is, I've had a few different effects thingies now, and I've gone with this Zoom G5N, and I'm absolutely in love with it, and um, I'm going to start explaining to you why I love it. So for this video, I'm using my Fender Ultimate Chorus 2x12. I'm using, not a cheap, but a middle road, a Dean a ML Shadow. It's basically a copycat of what Dimebag Daryl play. This is like one of my backup guitars. Honestly, I just pulled it out because I never really play it. And uh, it's not good. It's not bad. It's somewhere in the middle, right? Um, which is perfect for testing out an effects rack. So one thing that I love, okay, so the different sounds of this effects rack, I mean, oh, gosh, I can't even show you. So like right here you can see. Hopefully you can see. You got like your four settings, so I got like a clean thing. I got like a... uh, so you got your different kind of things here, and then you can scroll, and then each time you scroll, you end up with four different options, right? So like, and so which is perfect, and this baby it goes way up there. I mean it goes up into like the hundreds. Okay, look at this. Look how far it goes. It's just flying along. Fly along, baby. Well, okay, so I think we ended up with about 200 there. And, uh, yeah, that's killer. This thing was only $300, by the way, which usually these kind of things are like a grand from what I can tell. Of course, they've got more buttons. But, again, I don't really need more buttons because I'm a fairly simple dude. I'm either going to be clean or I'm going to be heavy or I'm going to do bird stuff. And I've learned to fall in love with this transparent overdrive, which I used to hate. But now, yes... In a church type setting, in a worship type setting, it is the sound that you want. And I do love it now. <laughs> I'm sorry for being such a contradiction. God loves people who are contradictions. Um, so, for example, um, if I'm going to play like some elevation worship, I'll use this worship setting. And, um, you know what I'm saying? and all that sort of thing right now here's something I want to show you that's really groovy okay so like my metal setting right um, my metal setting I've got set up to where it's got this expression pedal here okay now you can set up your expression pedal to be like a wah-wah pedal or you can set it up to be like a volume pedal like if you just want to kill the volume or if you want to do like volume swells right um, in this case, I've got it set up with massive amounts of delay. So when I have it all the way down, it's just rhythm. And then when I, I can turn it all the way up and have it be like a f echo effect from hell, and then I can I can listen and like, you know, maybe turn it to 70% or something with my foot while I'm playing on the fly, which is, oh my God, it's so good. So like, check this out, right? So like, let's say you're a dude and you're playing some metal and let's say you're playing like a riff. <laughs> I'm going to go like riff into a solo or something, right? Okay, 
And now I've got to tell you something else that's ridiculous about this pedal. Okay, so the other thing is, okay, so like let's say I've got this clean setting now. Now on this clean set, I don't really use a lot of wah-wah pedal, like when Kirk Hammett used it all over the Black Album. Honestly, I thought that kind of held the Black Album back. It was like, wah, 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 wah. It's like, ugh, just play your guitar already. If you like wah-wah pedal, I'm sorry if I just offended you. God bless you. But uh, I, me, myself, I'm just not into it. But for clean, you know, like in a Jimi Hendrix kind of style, I'm open-minded to it for a song here and there. So I've got it on my clean setting, right? Okay. So that means every time I switch to clean, this baby is also a wah-wah pedal. Now the advantage of that is I can be like, whoops. <laughs> Right, but what if I don't want the wah wah pedal anymore and I just want to play like a clean riff, right? Check this out. So, this thing's got this stomp mode again that you can use with your feet on the fly. Okay, see the see where it says stomp right there? That stomp button, I just put my foot on it. Boom. Now I can control, okay, there's a chorus pedal on here, there's a compression pedal, there's a spring reverb, and there's a wah wah pedal. See the lights on, so I'm going to turn it off. Boom, and then turn the stomp back on. Now I'm back to my smooth or metal or birds or worship, right? Which is my usual, that's usually what I use, right? So now in this case, I'm so sorry about the camera here. I obviously suck at this. Now in this case, okay, if I switch to clean, I got no wah wah pedal. Right? So I can just be like, you know, I remember anything. Right? So that's uh, one of the things that I like about this thing. Um, the other thing, another setting that I have on here that I used to use at church all the time, but honestly, actually really, it's coronavirus time now, but is this Wales uh, setting here, which again controls the expression pedal. So check this out. With the expression pedal, like, okay, you can't really see it because I'm putting the camera here, but just, you, you know how to use an expression pedal, don't you? So, you know, um, like listen to this. I mean, I can, if I let's say I want to play like Amazing Grace or something, right? Like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like in church setting, like oh my god, it's like breaking people's hearts. Like it's unbelievable. It's great. Um, so, uh, yeah, this, this thing's singing is great, and, um, you know, it's really easy to program, you know, like, if you want to mess with some, stu some stuff, you just flip these little dials here, hold on, I think I have to hit it, the stomp button or something, okay, I can control, like, the time, or I can control this, or whatever, boom, and then this is where it shows you, like, the different things that you got set up, right, on this particular, uh, one, so, so let's switch over to worship one and see what I got there, okay, it's like a, okay, a volume pedal, so I can turn it off real quick. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes you want to turn it off real quick, especially in a church setting like, you know, okay, let's all pray now. And okay, now we're only going to sing and the guitar player has to be quiet. Like I need to like be quiet instantly and it, it doesn't always go as planned, if you know what I mean. So that's a happy thing to have. Um, flip to this baby. See, look, I got an okay. You can also emulate amps on here, which I don't really want to do personally because I... I don't know. I'm just, that's, that's too complicated for me. That's exactly why I don't like effects in the first place. I don't want all that complicated crap. I just want to pick up my guitar and play and sound okay, really. And for 300 bucks, this baby gives me more than what I need. I'll honestly probably be satisfied with this thing for, you know, a decade. I don't know, until it breaks, something like that. Anyway, um, so yeah, hope this video was helpful to you if you're thinking about purchasing a Zoom G5N, or if you're just in the market for effects, or if you just like crazy videos by crazy dudes like me. Um, God bless you. Jesus rules. Love you.